Hey, how's it going everyone? Well, I told you I didn't, I didn't like these types of systems, but for 10 bucks, uh, you can't go wrong. Well, you can go wrong, but you know what I mean. Anyway, this is an AWA. AWA? AWA. CX-ZL500, uh, ZL500, Digital Audio System, uh, really nice, uh, the only problem I can see right off the bat is, you can see somebody had some duck tape, not quack quack, but D-U-C, D-U-C-T, duct tape I didn't I don't think they make tape out of ducks they don't make tape out of ducks eat ducks either but you don't tape up your duck you take up you tape up your heating duck all right enough of the nonsense okay uh, really nice uh, I've had similar ones like this before and they are they're really nice Everything is digital touch, you know, you have micro switches under everything, even your play and rewind and all that other happy horse manure. Um, you have your power, your demo, your eco. Eco. Okay. Uh, five disc changer. Open. One through five and your disc change. Then you have your your electronic graphic equalizer. You can choose from rock, Latin, jazz, pop, and classic. And then depending on what deck you're going to use, you have your tape. You push it once, it'll be deck one. Two will be deck two. Tuner, your band, AM and F, F and M. Uh, video, auxiliary and phono. So we do have some jacks in the back. Uh, CD, which is up top here. Uh, your sets, your clear, your presets for your Radidio. Uh, CD blank skip. Okay. Synchro dubbing and record and record boot. And you have your down and up for your tuning. Then you have clock, timer, and preset. Enter. BBE. And T T base, and of course your master volume. Now, like I said, on this one, you know, you just push it and it clicks and opens up. This one, that side works fine. This side, as you can see, does nothing. And if you can look, if you can see down in there. Let me, let's put a little light on the subject. Let me get this at pointer. There we go. If you can see that, how dirty that is. That It's been broke for quite a while. And it's always been sitting around with that door open. Now I've messed with these before, these, those dudes, and they can be a royal pain in the butt. I'm hoping, hoping, that we can just take off one side panel here and get to this, get to him. And most of the time it's either something has broken in the, cl in the clasp or the spring or it's just stupid which I'm gonna bet it's stupid and then you have this guy here that I'm not sure what that one's for but we will find out uh, nice speakers built-in powered sub woofers complete everything is awa you have two sets of wires on the backs of the speakers. 
you have your your speaker wire which has an RCA on it and your sub which is just those dudes which that one needs to be has a, needs a little help and we got our antenna hook up and you can see we have a couple extra auxiliaries on it it's kind of hard for me to spin this around with it and this is a pretty big unit as you can see it takes up my whole little workbench here but we are going to first we are going to plug it in after we hook up some speakers and we are going to test some things out on this one this one I don't have to worry too much about stuff getting down in it because it's a compact it's a com complete unit sealed all in itself <laughs> no heating vent you know no uh, cooling vents or anything on it where something could fall down inside of it so um, we're pretty safe we can just plug and go plug and play yeah so I am going to get this guy all hooked up, fix some speaker wires, and we are going to plug it in and turn it on and see if we get a nice little poof mushroom cloud come up out of it, or hey, it may even work. Oh, before I forgot to mention, this is a CDR and RW playback, so this will also play your CDRs and your RWs. 1-bit dual DNA converter disk direct play rotary changer system. Mm -hmm. In other words, it has a tray in it that turns from disk to disk. Special, isn't it? Okay, let's have some fun and we'll get her hooked up and see if we can piss off the neighbor. Okay, got her hooked up and plugged in and this is what's going on. I think this is just a demo. Our power's not on. So let's see what happens. Okay, it's on CD. Yep. Let's tune her. Okay, presets. <laughs> I'm sure there's nothing. Alright, so let's go up to, you know the drill, 1057 is my local. I didn't hook up an antenna. Oh crap. Yeah, still picking it up anyway. Uh, okay, sorry about that. Had to hurry up and turn, shut the camera off. Uh, we we got another one of those where you try and turn it down and it goes up and goes down and goes up and goes down. We got to clean the uh, the pot in it. That was what was wrong with the last one. I was kind of hoping I didn't have to tear this thing down a whole lot, but doesn't look good. Let's see. Uh, open, open, open. Where is, oh, yeah, open. Little, little, little dusty up there. Uh, moves a little slow, too. Kind of like me. Now, uh, do I still have a CD sitting around here? This is stuff from another one, another project I'm working on and and of course I'm fighting with. How about, yeah, there's a good one right there. How about some death? Def Leopard. Pyro. Well, that sits in there funky, doesn't it? I guess that's how they did it to to save on some space. 
Let's see, we're on, okay, disc one. Uh, uh, there we go. You can do it, you can spin it. Okay, ten tracks. Uh, kind of bear with me here. I got a lot of, a lot of buttons and too many buttons for this old man. Okay, preset. I think. By God, that looks like it. Okay. Now let me see if I can just barely get this turned up. Five, six, seven. Okay, I'm going to play with this a little bit and uh, let's set that on rock. And maybe if I talk enough, that uh, I can keep from getting a, a copyright claim. But I'm going to have to shut you down. Oops. Okay, that's what that does. can change tracks with that. All right, I'll bring you back in a minute. Okay, I had no problems with the CD player. Now let's let's hope we don't have any problem. What's that? No, I ain't playing that crap. There's some lead sled. We'll put some lead sled in. Are we doing anything? <laughs> Probably not. Hmm. Oh man, don't tell me we have to. That we are going to be doing another tape deck. Looks like, unfortunately, we are going to be tearing into it to do more tape decks. Because <laughs> everything has to work. Uh, no good. <coughs> oh man. Okay, let's see if it tape deck. Okay, you don't have to push it, it's just automatic. Automatically sees which one you're. Oops. Let's one more time. Stop shaking. Sorry. Okay, so we know the CD works, but we get to tear apart 
down to another tape deck. Okay. Unfortunately, that's what's got to be done. Now, where the hell? Oh, there it is. Now we gotta we gotta work on uh, our volume anyway. Oh yeah, sure. Well, no. See, look at this thing. Turn it down, and it just goes ape crap. Turn it up, max volume. You know, it is getting better. Like I said, most of the time it's, they're just, it's dirty. Alright. You can tell I'm really thrilled about tearing this one down. These big units are kind of a pain in the butt. You get all kind of crap everywhere when you're tearing these ones down. But, in order to sell it, it has to, everything has to work on it. Well, at least it knows there's a, not a tape in it. Tape one, nine, 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 nine. <laughs> All right, I'll get you set up. We got to get rid of some stuff and get rid of the speakers off of here so we can start tearing this thing down.
thing we're going to do is see if we can get some belts on this thing. No, I really don't want to touch that. Yeah. That's why. Hi, Kaz. My little Taz kitties here. <laughs> what do you want, Taz? That's the only one. A little bit in there. Some fuzz. If you've ever messed with one of those, you'll know why I am using tweezers to pull that nasty thing off of there. Now, let's see, it looks like this side's the top of the pulley of the motor, and this is the bottom. And we can't get at that unless we take off, we have to pull the motor. I am going to get rid of this nasty stuff. Looks like these two screws right here hold the motor down. You can't get up here. I don't want you up here. You're just going to get in trouble. Got some belt remnants on it. Okay, I'm going to Take some compressed air, and you can see this side. It's all nasty from the door being open. So look, I'm going to get this all cleaned up. You've watched me clean these before. It's not rocket science how I clean them, so I'll go ahead and get this all cleaned up. 
and get belts on it. And I'm trying to move this one along a little bit. I really don't want to make this a two-parter. I'd rather just get this all done in one. So I'm going to try and move move along a little bit. Uh, the biggest thing that we're going to have to do is fix this one door on our fix the one door on the tape deck. So let me get this cleaned up and then we'll go from there. Okay, we got our drive all ready to go. We got new belts on it. We got her all blowed out. I'm going to wipe off those spindles a little bit before I put it back in. Okay, now we have to see what we can do about this one door. Now here, here's the mechanism right here that latches. Let me stick something underneath here. Kind of prop this up a little bit. There we go. Okay, this is the latch. You can see it's just a little simple design that if you see that little pin right there, see it moving up and down. That's what goes in and it rocks one way and latches it. Then when you push it back in and release it, it, it goes back the other way and that pin lets it come back all the way out. This side mechanism's good, but you can see the little pins broke off. So that's what we have to try and fix or recreate. And I think our best bet is going to be to take the door off completely and see what we can do to kind of fabricate that. It looks like Okay, looks like if we release the Kraken, release these, this pin here on the door, with two, without breaking it. anymore and have to repair anything else. Yeah, oh, sure. There's that one. Let's... Come on. extension cord hang up on everything okay oops I can't see what you're looking at let me get you spun around ah, there we go all right so here's the little pin that's missing now I have a couple of ideas thinking about maybe drilling a hole and finding a small piece of plastic a little 
dial and put it in there. <coughs> Excuse me, you can see it's not very it's not very big. So that's what I'm thinking. Just need to have a little pin. I, I really don't want to use a screw. I mean, we can put a screw in it and cut the head off of it, but then the metal's going to chew the heck out of this thing and it, it'll start hanging up in here. So I'd really like to have that plastic. Uh, hmm. Let me see what I can come up with.
Okay, there she is. I think I'm. I think it's. I think it sagged a little bit on me. Kind of, kind of leaning down a little bit. But let's see what we got. Uh, let me let me get this other one put back together so it's not in the way. Well, okay, now let's get this one put back in. This ought to be interesting. Especially if I keep Okay. Should have cleaned that up. Moment of truth. Off you. That didn't work as planned. in there. That's the way it should be. Slide right down in there. What am I doing wrong? There we go. Okay. Now, the moment of truth. Nope. Oh, oh. Closed.
Okay, now let's... Doesn't want to release it. I think we might be a little long. Okay, a little bit of filing. Kind of straighten out my nub a little bit. And click and it opens. You have to, you know, it's not perfect, but what do you think? What do you think? Uh, uh, uh. It's good. Looks good to me. Cool. That was a fun little project there. Now, we can get our tape deck put back in. Wipe out a little bit of dust. And now we have our deck here. The only thing we have left to do, you know, besides putting it back together, is cleaning the volume knob, the volume control. Let me. Get those. Let's see. Get that one. Works good for me. Get our ribbon cable put back on. Let's see, this guy goes down to the power, to the back piece. Clean the Clean the tape off of it, man. It the tape glue, but you gotta watch it. It starts taking the finish right off of it. I, I hate duct tape, but you know that's what somebody had. Now I really don't want to take. What do you what do you think? Let's I don't know if I can get anything in there to clean that or not. It's 
kind of buried in there but I think how much of this is going to get in there. circuit board. It's just a little bitty pot. Let's try in there. Let's how about if we Stand it up a little bit, so maybe we can get lucky and some of it will run in there. Okay, I'm going to continue to do that. I don't think you have to sit sit here and watch me spin my knob. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get your mind out of the gutter. Okay, I'm going to play around with that some more and keep cleaning it. Okay, now, now, now it is time to get this thing put back together. Hope like hell everything still works. And we fixed problems and didn't create any more. Oh man. That's a heavy little booger. to figure out where are those cassette deck wires went to. I know they go to the power supply. Hmm. Do you remember where they went? I know where the ribbon cables go. I'm not worried about that. It's those. There's the hook. They hook on the tamer. They didn't go on the back side, did they? No, they didn't go there. I know they. 
they don't go up to the CD drive. Aha, there they are. Okay. I don't know if you can't see what I'm doing anyway. But they're all the way on that board. Kind of doing it by braille. Because I'm too lazy to get a light. There we go. Huh. Okay. Big ribbon cable. It goes up top. Let's let's get this slid together now. So there's another hunk of belt. Yeah, God, nasty stuff. Look at that crap. <laughs> All right. Enough complaining. Oh, come on, quit shaking. God, I hate that. get our plug put together here.
we go. Hopefully. This guy. Need a flat head and Phillips. Okay, and our ground. Uh, what was our ground? What screw was on our ground? Was it a regular course or was it a... I don't think that was a... I think that's a machine screw too. machine either. Had to have been just a regular sheet metal. Ew, don't poke the board. Yeah, it's like poking the bear. Don't poke the bear! one of the screws out of the, the deck I need a little shorter screwdriver what do you think I want that one ah, let me get around here a little bit here just don't move your leg. Okay, now the deck is ground. Now we can... screws in the CD drive.
see. Flat one here. Flat one? No. Can be regular feet. And one on the other side. Okay, now we need to get our ribbon cables hooked up. And show you where I took them off, so I will show you where they go back on. This one, if you can see right, right here on the deck is where this big one, big flat one goes. <laughs> ah, I need both hands. But at least you see where it goes. And there's a little one. You can get your screen flipped around so I can see what you're looking at. There's a little flat one. Little flat ribbon. Right there. And it will go on the deck. Uh, let's see, I can't reach that through there. Go the circuit board. And I can't see crap from over there and my arms aren't long enough. <laughs> uh, let's see. it. Nope. It goes in a little further. Missed. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll get that put on somehow. No sense in watching me struggle. Okay, gotta put back together enough to where we can test it. thing ok 
Okay, rock power. All right. First thing we're going to do is let's test the, the drive, the tape deck. Nothing. Volume's working better. Ah, there we go. It's in a blank spot. Okay, I'll play it a little bit and let you know what's going on. Alright, both decks work. Let me get you brought back over here and let me see if I can get you zoomed in here. And you can see I cleaned clean that up and now she's working like she should too. That's all it was with the last one, was I just needed to get it cleaned. It's not a really you know, great. It's not a real great design. All right. Now, all I have to do is get this thing cleaned up and it'll be ready to go. Uh, I and finish putting it together. All I got to do is put the side panels on it in the top piece, and then I'll bring you back after I get it all, all squared away and ready to go. Hopefully, <laughs> looks good. Uh, the door works eh, good. You have to poke it a little bit, it's like poking the bear, but. But she works. Stays closed and opens and it works. So that's all that counts. All right, let me get finished up and then we'll I'll bring you back and we'll finish up the video. Okay, there she is. All done, cleaned up. Everything's working on it again. Ah, nice stereo system. Uh, it's it probably I'm going to say probably 8 or 10 watt max on this uh, it's got really good sound it's just not very loud you know it, it is what it is it's a nice nice stereo got both decks working got our that one all fixed up the CD works volume control is working properly again so yeah it's all all ready to go I'll take it down and hopefully I sell it this weekend for Memorial Day so I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did make sure you hit the like button and if you like these types of videos consider subscribing and I will see you on the next one until then, see ya.